Greetings YouTube, Dark Swordsman here and I'm back for what will probably be the third to last episode of Final Fantasy XII The Zodiac Age. And in today's episode, before we finish off this uh, journey through the game, we are going to clear up the last of the spells and techniques that we are missing. And before I start this episode, I've actually gone through and had a look to see where most of them are. And the reason I've missed most of them is purely because they're one-time spawns and they only have certain them, some of them only have certain chances of spawning in so it's one of those having to come in and exit a few times in order to find them but anyway enough about that so we're going to start off by doing uh well going after the haste of a spell which is here in this place and i think since we're still in here we might as well grab it while we're here i think there was no better one to start off with so you want to start off by grabbing the Tauros Gate Stone. If you've been following my guide from previous episode, then you should already have everything set up. And basically we're going to make our way back down towards the Tauros Gate that we opened beforehand to get to Omega. Only this time, instead of going straight down, we're going to turn to the left instead in order to get to where we need to go. And I have a horrible feeling I've just gone down the wrong bloody path. Oh no, no, I have got the right path, it's all good. So from here we want to turn to the right, and then we want to carry straight on down towards the Libra Gate Stone, which is just there. And we want to veer off to the left, down this path here. Once you hit the bottom here, you want to take a right. And then, in a moment, we're going to want to take a left turn which will be this one, I believe. Yep, so here's our Tauros 2 gate. We'll go ahead and open that now. And we've just got a few enemies here to clear out. I'll just four times it a second to get these cleared out quickly. Although they're not playing nice, I'll give them that. That's not helping. Let's get rid of that blind. Okay, so once you've eliminated the enemies, you want to take the only path that's available, which leads down. And this is a 100% spawn rate, this one. And that's the haste of a spell. So that's that one eliminated. Okay, so down here in the uh, Orgia Yenza Sancia Central Junction, at this entrance to Xanthian Caverns here, you want to make your way into the Xanthian Cavern via this entrance. And it should be... So Sight Unseen should be in here somewhere, I believe it's this one here. Yep, there it is, Sight Unseen. So that's that one. Okay, so next up then is the Charm Technique. So here in Salica Woods, we want to make our way from the save point down this way. And it should be this chest here. Yep, there we go. Okay, so next up then is the stamp technique. So here in the Mosphorian High Waste, you want to make your way up this hill here to the North Wind Shrine and activate the North Wind Shrine. From here, you want to make your way up the hill. And then from here, we want to go up past this Chocobo up over here and apparently get into a scrap or something and there's the stamp okay so here in the cave palace we have got the 1000 needles technique I'm not certain as to which one of these chests it is so I'm gonna grab at them all as I go through here to try and find it so stick with me and we'll try and see if we can find it. It'll be in here somewhere. I think it might be at the other end, but I'm not certain. 
you do have to manipulate the water a little bit in order to uh, to progress, which I think I'm going to have to do now, actually. And to manipulate the water, we have to go through the different doorways. So we'll go ahead and do that now, I think. Uh, no, it's not that exit we want. It's the far one that I want at the moment. That one. Uh, right, what we got over here? up the sun then. Hmm. I'm having trouble getting the chest of spawning. Oh hang on, what's this one? No, that's a high potion. Another high potion. This one is proving to be quite the nuisance. So basically we need to be getting into that centerpiece there. But at the moment the water is currently blocking us. That chest there is the one that contains the uh, 1,000 needles. And we're going to have to try and move this water somehow. But for some reason it's not playing the way I want it to right now. I don't know why exactly. So I'm going to keep going through some of these tunnels for a moment. Try and see if I can manipulate it. So you come and manipulate it by going through the different entrances into that area. Start by going through this entrance here. Uh, okay. Right, so it's just this one here that we need to shift now. And to do that, I believe we need to go through this one here. the other one we want. <clears throat> wow, I cannot get this water to move. Why is that? Try exiting the area and coming back in. 
We've actually, you know what, scratch that. You know where it is. So, yeah, just... I, I'm not entirely sure how to manipulate the waterfalls properly. I'll have to work it out. But at least now you know where the 1,000 needles is. And, uh... Yeah. Okay, so down here in the Garam South Waterway in the lower town of Ravanasta, we are going for the Achilles Technique. That's the next one on our list. And in order for this to work, you need number 11 and number uh, 4 to be uh, open, uh, closed, sorry, so the lights need to be on, and the other two need to be turned off. So once you've done that, I've already done it to save a bit of time. Uh, we want to be going... I think it was this one. Yeah, across these stairs. Uh, over these stairs. Hmm. You know what? I think I've taken a wrong turn. One moment. I put myself. Here we go. Uh, right. That's what I was looking for. No. Nope. Oh, for God's sakes. Right. Let's go back to the centre of it and start this again. Got myself right in the middle of it. I'm going to swap down to two times speed as well, I think. Right, uh, it's... So we want to go across here. And we want to go across here. Down these stairs. Wipe out these ghosts to move. Where's the rest of my team got to? Why are they not helping out? And in this chest here is the is none other than the crappy Achilles technique. We have one more technique to go, and that is the Shades of Black technique. That's coming up next. Okay, so here in the Tomb of Wraithful, we're going to obtain our last technique now, which is the Shades of Black. And then we will move on to mopping up all these uh, spells that we're missing, which actually isn't a great deal now. We are only missing a few majority of them we've actually got so from here uh, we want to hit this waystone here ah ok uh All right, we'll do this the long way then. Oh, actually, there is another way we could do it. We could go through this thing quickly. Wow! That was incredible! Uh, so once you've eliminated him... Sakes. Enough of the animations, we don't need to see this. It's, yes, we get it, we beat it. Yes, we get it. Okay, fair enough. Goodness sakes. Uh, so, once you've defeated him, activate the hidden jewel. This will reveal a hidden path that we can use. When it wants to let me move again. And we'll head down that path. Through the ancient door. Uh, 
Okay, so from here we want to be going. We want to make our way down. Got here. Oh, a scathe moot. Just trying to remember how to get down to this lower level. Okay, we'll have to go further in then. Actually, you can't get to it from that path after all. That's a little bit annoying. <coughs> I thought you could get to it from that way, my bad. Uh, so we'll just push our way through here a second. So we need to push forward into the next room. I generally thought we could access it from down there, but clearly I was wrong. And we want, it doesn't matter which one of these you go for, green or red will do, it doesn't matter which. I'll take the red one, since it's closest. <clears throat> and then from here we want to go down here. I believe it's through here, or is it? Wait, wait a minute. Looking for ah, there it is. The ancient door. That's what I was looking for. And then from here, we're going to make our way down these stairs. All the way to the bottom and then uh, just over here is the shades of black technique and look at that we get the jack of all trades trophy to go with it okay stay tuned while I get to the next destination for the next spell okay so here inside the uh, Necrod of Nabuda's dungeon the hidden merchant I should have got this one a lot earlier and I completely fucked up and forgot about it is Azuniga uh, and also while I'm at it I will just take a moment to stock up on Hyethas as well okay so from here in Balfour Highland we want to make our way up into the Sorobi step and head up north and I've got to say some of these spells that I've missed I feel absolutely disgraced at because I should have found them as we came through some of these places so I'm feeling a little bit like a noob right now. I mean, not all of them are easy to find, but some of them are it's like, really? How did I miss that? Okay, so our chest should be. Great game's deciding it wants to be a knob. One moment. Oh, 
we're going out to school and didn't or not. That's not what was supposed to be there. Wow, game's being a proper dick. Or have I got the wrong chest? Let me just clear these guys out a second. I'm pretty certain it was definitely that chest. I don't see any other chests around here that are sat inside a... Wow, the game is being an actual ass. Well, I'm going to try exiting the area and coming back in again and see what happens. See if I can get this thing to spawn in. Nothing spawning in there. Basically, that trap there, the chest is supposed to spawn in on top of it. But at the moment, the game is being an ass. I do not know why. Right, I'll try one more time. It doesn't spawn in this time around. I'm going to have to move on. I'll get it off camera. But at least you know it's there. Just, just doesn't want to spawn in now. It's actually being a proper dick. It's going to be one of those ones that only has a certain spawn rate, isn't it? I can tell. Leave the worm alone. No, it's going to be Gil this time. Wait, I've still got that on, haven't I? Just double check that. Yeah, no, I definitely still have the armor on. There is no mistaking it. Mind you, I had this earlier on one of my previous episodes when I went after, I think it was the. Uh, I believe it was the. Here. Technique, or was it the weather? It was one of the two. Not of rust. Wow, the game is actually being an ass now. There we go, cleanse. I knew I'd get there in the end. Right, next spell. Okay, so in the Fey Wood, in the area just after the boss fight area, you will find your Dispelger spell, which is in here somewhere. I am just currently trying to locate it myself. I do not know how the hell I managed to miss it. I'm a little bit gobsmacked myself, to be honest. But it is in this area here somewhere. This one here, I think it is. No, nope, that's 184 gil. So it's not that one. Uh, it might be a come out of the area and back in again, job. What's this one? 
Not of rust. Hmm. So yeah, I think it's going to be a come out of here and back in again job. Until we get the one that we want. It's going to be one of those again. Oh, no, there's a chest here I've missed. It's that knot of rust again. So we're going to exit and come back in again. You know what, I think it might be this chest here that we've just opened, but it's going off gill instead of what we actually want. So we might have to open it a few times. Oh! Turn these bloody gambits off for a moment. Some of these treasure chests are really beginning to annoy me. <laughs> I mean, I could have the wrong chest, I'm not sure. Okay, so I'm going to pause the recording and head to my next spell location. I will stick around here for a little bit longer though to try and get the dispel spell and if I have got the right chest I'll be sure to let you guys know or if not I'll show you the new location. So I'll be back in a moment. Okay so I've found the dispel the spell. So it's just here in this little section here and so now we're going to go after the next spell which is uh, holy Okay, so here back in the Theros, once you've accessed this little bridge here, uh, collecting all the red candle monsters, come across the bridge and you'll get Gunganir. And then just across there is Holy, but for the life of me, I cannot work out how you get to it. Uh, that's interesting. Uh, Okay, so how do we activate that then? Hmm. How interesting. Uh, okay, there would be one. Okay, so you need to take out a few more of those red candle monsters to get across the bridge. And there's Holy. And we're not actually done in this place just yet because we still have uh, our door to go and get. I just need to look up whereabouts in here it is because I can't actually remember but I know it's definitely in here. So stay tuned and bear with me. My bad guys, I misread the map. I now know where I need to go. So I'm just going to head there now. Also from this crystal we can actually get to where the map for this area is. I've already gone and grabbed it off camera but come through this ancient door here. It's just on the right hand side at the other end. Just there look. And we're going to take ourselves back through here. Do apologise folks, I completely misread the map but I do now know where I need to go. Oh these bloody bombs. Great.
Fantastic. There we go. Get my bearings for a second. Through here. That's what I was looking for. This is where we want to be. And our, our door spell is in here somewhere. Which I think it's through here. It might be this way actually. Ah, here we go. Our door. So that's another spell eliminated. So next up we're going to go for Scorch. Okay, so I'm here in the Geyser of Plains. And to find blind, we need to head south past the blue save point. You will need the weather to be dry for this, otherwise you won't be able to get to it. And really, I should have got this one a long time ago. So again, I feel like a bit of a noob for missing it. But hey, hope we all make mistakes. And this one's 100% spawn. So it should be over in this little section here. Just clear this lot out a second. Uh, is it this one here? There it is. So that's blind eliminated. So, we have three spells left to eliminate now, folks. Vanish, Warp and Death. Vanish is the next one we're going to go for. So stay tuned while I uh, head to the next location. Okay, back in the Tomb of Rayfell then. And I should have got this one earlier when I got the Achilles technique. But I completely forgot that it was in here. Well, technically if I'd explored this area properly I would have had it earlier anyway, but still. Uh, so you want to make your way down through the main chamber. Probably not walking into the wall, of course. And then we want to be going down here. There are these bats on the way through. And it's either the left side or the right side. I'm going to check both sides, I think. I think it's this one here. No, nope, that's an echo herb. There. Don't tell me it's another one of these chests that's not going to play bloody nice. What is it? Oh, actually, hang on. Oh, there it is, vanish. Okay, two spells to go. So our next one will be Warp. So uh, without further ado, let's go after that one next. Okay, so in the Panorama Rift then, we want to be heading to this location over on the far right here. So without further ado, let's head down there now. And this is our final spell. This should get us a trophy as well, actually, thinking about it. So here we go. So it's 
So it's just down here. There we go. One death spell. And that's all our spells now collected. And all our techniques collected. So that brings this episode to an end. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this episode, then let me know in the comments section. Hit that like button. Be subscribed to the Dark Swordsman Gaming and Guides channel. And I will see you all next time for what will be the final chapter of this f journey through Final Fantasy XII, The Zodiac Age, where we shall begin to annihilate the last piece of the story. So I hope you'll join me for that. Bye-bye for now.